Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at some of the important properties of the continuous random variable. So, given the definitions, the expectation of a continuous random variable x is equal to the integral minus infinity to, to plus infinity x times fx dx, where fx is the probability density function of the random variable x, and this is denoted as mu x. And the expectation of a function of this random variable is equal to the integral minus infinity to plus infinity g of x f of x dx. This is the expectation of a function of the random variable x. So, from this definition, we can find the variance of the random variable x as integral minus infinity to plus infinity x minus mu x whole square f, x, f of x dx. So, based on these definitions, we want to prove the following properties. The first one is the expected value of the random variable centralized with the, the expected value of the random variable corrected for its mean that is the value of the difference is 0. So, basically the expected value of the random variable when the mean is subtracted is equal to 0. So, this can be easily proved by using the uh, definition of the expectation of a function that is minus integral minus infinity to plus infinity integral minus infinity to plus infinity x minus mu x f of x dx is equal to the first component is the integral uh, basically is the definition of expectation of x minus mu x since it is a constant we have minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx and this is nothing but 1 since it is the total probability. So, we have expectation of x minus mu x but from definition 1 this is equal to 0. Therefore, expectation of a random variable when the mean is subtracted is equal to 0. And the next the expectation of a linear function of the random variable that is e a x plus b is equal to the integral a times x plus b into f of x dx and this is equal to a times integral x of uh, x into f of x dx which is nothing but the definition of mean and also the next one is plus b times the integral f of x dx minus infinity to plus infinity and this integral is 1. So, the expectation of a linear function of this random variable is equal to a times expectation of x plus b and the next property is variance of x. We want to prove that variance of x is equal to expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square. This is for a continuous random variable. So, for a continuous random variable, variance is defined as x minus mu x whole square into f of x dx. And this is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity x square plus mu x square minus 2 mu x to x integration of multiplied by f of x dx. That is, the for integration sh should be evaluated for the, these three terms. So the first term is basically expectation of x square. That is the second moment of the random variable x. The second term is mu x square since the integral of f of x is 1. And the third term is 2 times mu x times the integral of x times f of x dx which is the expectation of x which is mu x. So, this is nothing but equal to expectation of x square minus mu x square which is equal to expectation of x. I mean, since mu x is equal to e of x, so this theorem or this property is proved. Next one is if x is a deterministic value and a constant a then variance of x is equal to 0. I mean, this is obvious because uh, since, since x is equal to a, then expectation of x is also equal to a. That is, mu x is equal to a. Therefore, the variance from the definition of variance x minus a whole square f of x dx is equal to expectation of x square minus, minus a square. And but expectation of x square is equal to integral a square f of x dx minus a square and this is nothing but a square. Therefore, this is a square minus a square equal to 0. 
This probably basically says that for a deterministic value, the variance is always going to be zero. And for a random variable that is linearly translated with a constant, the variance is defined as variance of y is equal to variance of x. This is true because expectation of y square is equal to expectation of x plus b square is equal to expectation of x square plus b square plus 2b times expectation of x. And also expectation of y is equal to expectation of x plus b. So since variance of y is equal to since equal to expectation of y square minus expectation of y whole square is equal to e of x square the second moment plus b square plus 2b into mu x minus the square of this term that is minus b square minus e x square minus 2b e x. Since these two terms are equal, we have, and these two terms cancel out, we have variance of y is equal to variance of x. This is nothing but the definition of variance of x. Therefore, this is variance of x. So basically, uh, translating a random variable does not change its variance. And the final property is when y is equal to ax plus b, that is when a random variable is scaled and also linearly, tra linearly translated, then its variance changes by the scaling factors squared. That is variance of y is equal to a square times variance of x. This property can be easily proved by using the definition of variance. That is e of y square minus e of y whole square. Which is equal to expectation of a x plus b whole square minus expectation of a x plus b whole square. And this is equal to a square into e of x square plus b square plus 2ab e of x minus e of a x whole square minus b square minus 2ab ex. Again, as in the previous property, we can easily show that variance of y is equal to a square into variance of x. Therefore, uh, scaling of a random variable changes the variance by a square. Right? That is the scaling factor square. So, to summarize, the important pro some of the important properties of continuous random variables are, the first one is the expected value of x minus mu x is equal to 0. That is when a random variable is transferred by, by minus of its mean value, the, then the mean of the new random variable is equal to 0. The next property is expectation of a x plus b is equal to a times expectation of x plus b. That is, when the random variable is when the when the random variable is scaled and and translated, then the mean is also scaled and translated by the same amounts. And the next property is that the variance of the random variable is equal to expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square. This basically means that the variance of a random variable is equal to the difference between its second moment and the square of its first moment. And when the random variable x is equal to a constant, then the variance of this random variable x equal to a is equal to 0. That is, a deterministic value does not have any variance. And the next one is when for y equal to x plus b, that is when a random variable is translated by a constant amount, then the variance does not change. That is, variance of y is equal to variance of x. And finally, for y equal to a x plus b, the variance of y is equal to a times a square times variance of x. That is, when the when the random variable is scaled and translated, then the variance of the new random variable is equal to square um, the variance of the original random variable multiplied by the square of the scaling factor. Thanks for watching.